Hi guys, this is Rod and you are watching DIY Adventure Channel. Today I'm going to show you a video that I made about five months ago. Uh, I apologize for the quality. It's quite a dark video. I made it by my mobile phone, uh, but uh, I didn't have a proper equipment then. And uh, you're gonna see, uh, I'm going to fix a, a tumble dryer. It's really worth to watch it. It can save you a lot of money. And I can tell you straight away that this is all working. There is a about five months later, and this tumble dryer is still working. So it's really, it's 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 really worth to watch it. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. So that's it from me. Take care. Enjoy. Thanks. Uh, how are you doing guys? This is Rob, you're watching the DIY Adventure channel. Today I'm going to fix or try to fix my tumble dryer. We have it for about four years and suddenly it stopped working. Well, it's making this buzzing noise when I put the power on and all the display is working as well. So I think the problem is something different than that. And uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes, and uh, I hope it will uh, it will be a success. So let's crack on. So as I said, we have it about four years. We using uh, we use it very often, right? So uh, two children, so it's at least two two uh, uh, drying per day. So especially the automobile time. So uh, it's extensively used, and uh, I can't complain. It was working fine. It's a Beko model, and uh, so far it's working fine. And suddenly, just couldn't start. So uh, I was digging the internet, looking for the information, and uh, I found some clues. Uh, and my assumption is that in these days, when you assemble something, is uh, made from modules because people who are assembling this products on the production lines, they don't have any electrical background, they just, you know, assemble them like a Lego system blocks. So, my assumption is that one of the module broke down. So, uh, as I know from experience, even the electricians or plumbers, they don't really fix the things as they used to do in the years ago. They just order a new piece or they're just replacing the whole unit. And I think so, I can save some money on it. Uh, so, I open it and I will uh, I'll try to show you how it will apply inside and uh, just give me a second, I'll move it. So, so you can see this better. This is very light. Of course, safety first, so unplug it before you start playing with it. Alright, it's a little bit dirty on the back side. There's not many things which can be broken here. Alright, so first thing, I was very surprised positively how good is it look it is looking after four years of four years of using it, you know. And this dry belt is looks like a brand new. It's really really good shape, really good condition. Uh, so my first assumed uh, assume was that uh, the drive, the motor drive, died. Uh, reason probably probably uh, I don't know one pulley, one uh, 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 one bearings. Uh, so I just tried to test it. If you want to test the bearings, the best thing is to just move the whole thing, whole unit. And, and feel it, how much resistance it generates and I think so, it's going as smoothly as it was in the beginning and uh, from other hand I can just move the, uh, the ventilator itself and the unit is moving so it's, it's definitely not related to the bearings and this old pulleys look like a brand new really, so all be belts looks great. Another thing is uh, wheels here supporting the the drum, but as I said, it's not generate 
a lot of resistance. So another clue I found on the internet was that when it started and it's making this buzzing noise, homing noise, it could be capacitor and uh, that's the first suspect to, to fix it. So I was thinking about the changing whole, whole motor, but the new one, original one, cost 85 pounds, which is probably uh, half price of the new unit, so new new washer the dryer. So I decided to start with the easiest part, of course. Uh, I bought one on Amazon and uh, it came to my place. Oops. Came to my place recently and it's not exactly the same let's say it's not original cut it's it's a placement with the same parameters which is in my case i think so it's a nine microfarads so that's the one that's the original that's the replacement so i'm going to swap this one and uh and i will see how is it working yeah Okay, let's let's try to do it. All right, so let's have a try. I'm going to plug in, plug in everything to the system. Let's see if that work. Right, so, so far, is working and I'm pressing start now and uh, we'll see we'll see what happened there you go So that was so far the best repair I did and I paid 
I think so, it's £5.95 for the new capacitor and uh, that saved me over £220. So, you know, I am not experienced, I am not experienced uh, electrician, anything like that. I don't even have a multimeter. It's just a common sense, really. Safety first, of course. And just think about it. This can be a rocket science because this is very simple mechanism. It's a few modules which are here in this product. And it's not many things which can be damaged. So, you know, not every, every, um, white good is very simple in the construction but in my case it works so five minute job about six pounds so probably ten dollars and the unit is still working i think so it will work another even if this is cheaper capacitor and it works for me another two years and i can have to replace it i'm happy with it because the whole machinery it will run probably for another five years or so so uh, yeah that's it for today repairing uh, Beko tumble dryer successful this time so uh, alright I see you next time DIY Adventure Channel take care